Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV Week. Now I'm pleased to be joined by Christian of Pacific and Surge from NewTek. Let me start with you, Christian. The Pacific broadband platform, how's the rollout going? Uh, it's, uh, it's really fantastic. At the moment we have a, um, we're connecting uh, schools in uh, Vanuatu and hospitals. Um, we, it's an interim service uh, waiting for more bandwidth to come at the end of the year and even more bandwidth on a larger a dedicated satellite for the Pacific and, and Asia in a couple of years. Uh, but yeah, things are going very well at the moment and uh, we have at the moment with uh, the, the uh, new tech platform uh, the fastest uh, VSAT service on a 1.2 meter of the whole Pacific. Now you installed the new tech dialog platform recently and it rolled out very quickly. Are you happy with it? Oh, extremely happy because uh, um, Newtek scrambled their uh, operations and the uh, and the equipment in in a uh, record time to serve the uh, our deployment uh, exactly at the right time when uh, the Republic of Vanuatu needed it to uh, show to their citizen the the capability of this of this service for their ICT days. It's a it's a yearly event in Vanuatu, and we were right on time. Uh, the the Newtek hub was installed in. In just an afternoon in Sydney where we are plinking from and uh, today we're rolling out even more sites in Vanuatu. Now Serge, it's always nice when a customer talks highly about your product but what's so special about the new tech dialogue? Well the, the, the what is so special about new tech dialogue is in fact it allows customers, partners like Pacific, to provide really high-speed connectivity to different types of customers. Uh, you heard about schools, you heard about uh, hospitals, but it can provide a service to a whole variety of customers uh, in that same uh, uh, footprint of the satellite. So that makes it so special, together with the speed, you heard about speed, efficiency and availability of the signal, which is very important in KU band, but even more in K band, as the plans of Pacific are going forward. Now, is this just the start of a beautiful relationship between New Tech and Pacific? Well, we are convinced of this. Um, we look forward indeed to the growth and we are very proud to um, be partners. Um, uh, we are also proud to help them connect um, uh, the, this region of the world uh, um, because it uh, touches a lot of lives of people. Uh, so we're really proud of that and we really look forward to, to help them grow their business in a successful way. Now, often when I talk to people about satellite, they don't understand it. You know, I talk to my children, they don't understand satellite. But it's projects like you're working on that bring it more mainstream. It's a tangible thing being made, you know, used in schools. Um, are we going to see more of this in these outlying islands? Is it satellite is the only option? Well, well I've, yeah, I think that's one for you. Go ahead. Uh, well, I, I, you know, that we very convinced that satellite is the way of the future to connect those communities. Um, the, it, it's the new technology that you can deploy on satellite today allows to uh, be at par with terrestrial technologies like ADSL what, that you would have an affordable price in the urban developments but you can have the same price, the same quality of service in these, those uh, outer islands or in rural areas. So. Definitely, there is, a, there is a large social angle to deploying those, those, uh, this technology in, in those locations to connect those communities, uh, to make them more resilient to disasters as they are today, um, and just to, uh, to uh, support education and health, uh, and support all kind of social aspects of, of everyday life, such as gender equality, uh, such as government service to everybody at an affordable price. What is amazing today is that they have access to some bandwidth, but you know, at a price that is much higher than what you'd pay in developed in the developed world and their willingness to pay their disposable income is much lower than ours so the minimum you should try to aim for is to give them a connectivity at least at the same price as in the developed world and that's what we're doing and and that's the way forward but as far as you're concerned you're now at the moment working on your manufacture of your own satellites Sorry. for launch in the future um, can I just ask you, what was the thinking behind that, that you actually wanted your own satellites rather than using other people's space? Well, we, what we saw is that there is a technology that is mature today in other parts of the world, but is simply not brought to this particular 
uh, region and those markets. And there are different reasons for that. There's, those are fringe markets that we are aggregating together into one single market. Those are pockets of demands that are unserved and that are not necessarily appealing to the big operators. And in addition to that, we're not building our full on satellites. It's a condominium satellite. So we're actually owning only half of a payload on a satellite. So we are ambitious without being audacious. We know our limitations. We know the size of this market. And we think that this technology should be brought there in order to be at par with the rest of the world. Now, this is just one of the many companies you work with and you sell your products into. Um, how do you see the market at the moment in the Asia Pacific? Well, we see that um, uh, in a very positive um, way, uh, in that respect, uh, that we see growth. We see HTS capacity coming online, NKU band, um, soon also NKA band. So definitely uh, data transmission over satellite in Asia is going to explode in the next uh, years. There is no doubt about it. So we're very um, happy to see that and we are ready to serve our partners like Pacific indeed to take benefit of those new type of satellites that are coming over Asia. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you.